There are two types of data, qualitative data and quantitative data. Qualitative data is variables associated with non-numerical observations, like hair colour and people's names. Whereas quantitative data is variables associated with numerical observations, like height and shoe size. So, quantitative data, numbers, qualitative data, words. Similarly, there are two types of variables, continuous variables, that can take any value in a given range, and discrete variables, that can only take specific values in a given range. Examples of continuous variables are time, length, and weight. And discrete variables are things like number of girls in family, or the number of cats an old crazy woman has. Large amounts of discrete data can be written as a frequency table, with x on the left, frequency in the middle, and cumulative frequency on the right. Cumulative frequency is a running total of the frequency. You can also get group frequency tables, where x is a value between set points. So, group data. We can take data about the lifetime of torch batteries, then we can input it into a group frequency table, which is basically the same thing as a regular frequency table. When drawing a group frequency table, you need to be able to find the midpoint of the classes. You also need to be able to find the class width, which in this case, they are all one. However, they may not always be this simple. Mean, median and mode. Firstly, mode. In the first set of data, the mode is 8, as it appears twice. In the second set of data, there are two modes. 26 and 32, as they both appear the most times. Sometimes, when each number appears the same amount, there is no mode. Next, median. This is used to find the middle value in a range of data that is in numerical order. To find the median, you must take the number of values, divide it by 2, and then round it to the nearest whole number. So in this case, we want the fourth value, which is 5. So with the second set of data, we arrange them in ascending order. We see that there are 10 values, so we divide 10 by 2 to get 5. However, in this case, there is an even number, so we have to use the midpoint between the two values, 27 and 29, which is 28. So the median is 28. Finally, we have mean. This is written as x bar, and is calculated using the formula sigma x over n. If we take our values and put them into this equation, where sigma x is the sum of all the values and n is the number of the values, we get 21.2. However, in this case, 21.2 is not representative of our values, as 47.6 drags the mean up. We can calculate the mean, median and mode for data in a frequency distribution table. The mean is calculated using the formula sigma fx over sigma f where fx is the frequency multiplied by x. So we do 1532.5 over 95, which means our mean is 16.18. We can also work out the mean, median and mode of group data. We work out the mode by seeing which class has the highest frequency, which in this case means the modal class is 34 to 36 pine cones. To work out the mean we use the same formula as before, but we use the class midpoints as x. So we get 2417.5 over 70, which comes out as 34.54, which is our mean. To find the median, we interpolate. To do this, first of all we have to find out which term is the median. So we do 70 over 2 to get the 35th term, which lies within the class boundaries 34 to 36. For interpolation, it is best to draw a diagram and label it accordingly with the class boundaries on top and the cumulative frequency below. From the diagram you can clearly see that A over B and C over D are equal. So we sub in the numbers and simplify. We get the median as 34.3.